Hello again guys, it's Licky Giraffe here for the third part of my Dark Souls run through. If you remember last time, we, uh, we explored uh, down to the uh, Ul Ulasil or Ulasil Township, uh, I don't know, something like that. So here we are, I uh, rested up on fire, so I guess let's just continue on and let's see where we go. Okay, so it's pretty dark. So let's go through the chasm of the abyss. Oh. Yeah, got him. Uh, those guys are crystal lizards. Uh, they're pretty rare, and if they notice you, they run around, they run away, and they, um, they burrow into the ground, and you can't kill them. But they get really, really good. Uh, ooh, they get really, really good um, rewards if you do kill them. Let's try that again. So keep that on. And then what I'm going to do as well is because those little markers on the ground um, disappear in the game at a different point, and it pretty much means that you need to stick on some headgear or like something that has like a bright light so you can see where you're going. So that's what I'm going to do. Pretty much try not to die again. Cool, that's all them did. For me, okay, collect my souls from dying last time. Perfect, okay. Let us be on our way. Interesting. Oh, what's going on down there? Probably don't want to fall down if I can avoid it. Probably would be the best thing. is weird. So 
I need to avoid stepping into them. So now you try to find my attacks. And uh Yeah, because guys do a lot of damage. I'm not entirely sure what these guys are. I've never I've never encountered anything like this before. Twenty mana is nice. Oh, another human enemy. There's my undead face. So pretty. Uh, ooh, okay, interesting. And down there is where I went to kill the Black Dragon Calamis, and that was in my first video. Okay, so now we have a shortcut to get back. That is really useful. <laughs> God, see how far down we are. It's mad. Right, okay, uh, back up then. Chasm of the Abyss. So it's like, yeah, back to following the markers. I'm probably just going to stick with this route and then I can uh, come back later and check out that other guy. See what his story is. Okay, so that's more. More of these things. Let's see if we can kind of do this nice and slowly. Dark Souls style. Okay. This guy. This guy. Oh, oh, oh. can you see that? You see that? Oh, what the hell? That was really annoying. Uh, oh, okay. So this may be a dead end, in which case we can just go back to that bit originally where I killed that sorcerer guy and I can just drop down. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can, um, I don't know about this guy in game room. But, uh, oh, more humanity. Awesome. This place looks like a really great place to farm humanity. Because, uh, you know, so you can go in, kill everyone, collect all the humanity, and go rest the bonfire. And then, pretty much they're all back again, so you can just keep killing them and keep getting more humanity uh, if you need it. So pretty, pretty handy. So, let's drop down here. And, trying to aggro these guys because there's quite a few of them and they probably overwhelm me. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave those guys alone, like, totally, and just... Just try to walk down this thing. Oh, 
whatever it may do. Make sure there's nothing going on. Oh. More humanity, jeez. This is a, a humanity fucking supermarket right here. It's amazing. Okay, do. Oh, and there is a odd gate. So, boss coming up more than likely. guys doing that damage to you. This is really annoying. despise this guy as an enemy. Ah, oh, anyway. Kill them. Right, boss fight. Cool, so I've never done this before, so I guess uh, let's just go in and see what happens. Probably gonna die pretty quickly, but uh, eh, you know, that's half the fun of Dark Souls. strong attacks, but as of yet, oof, wow, you can't get past my stamina because I have an absolute ton of stamina. Also, I've got a great shield, which has a really high stability, which means that like if it's my block, it um it takes like a lot less stamina for me to block something than if I was just using say like a regular shield. Check this boss and it seems to be kind of staying around behind them for the most part. This has got pretty high frequency attacks. Right, 
kind of glad that I have so much stamina as I do because I did not have to do a lot of work around maintaining that. But as it stands now, I think I'm doing pretty good. I haven't used Nessus Flask yet. And he's down to what? 66% health, roughly. So, we're looking good. Oof, don't know what that did. Didn't do much though, so I'll just heal up. This combo again. But I'm still the block through it, so that's fine. I turned over half health now, so that's good. Uh, let's just try and find somewhere to attack. So I'm trying not to. Ah, jeez, doing this one combo again. It's annoying because it kind of pushes me very far away, so I have to like then spend time running all the way back to him before I can even like think about trying to hit him. Flasks left, so I'm not too worried. Just keep clobbering him. Try not to get too greedy, because it's when you get greedy that you say go for that one hit too many and then he attacks you and then you lose a bunch of health so it's better to play it safe ooh because there's the edge actually I'm gonna stay away from that because Dark Souls is not the kind of game that's gonna stop you from walking over the edge of a boss fight arena or even worse getting pushed over the edge okay that was pretty pretty ouch actually It has a lot of damage if you stay like in range, so I'm gonna stay up close to him. <laughs> he did a lot of damage there. Wow. This guy put down the damage when he wants to, he's got some very, very strong magic. Worry next, I kind of want to finish this pretty soon. There we go. <laughs> I was getting worried there. He was doing a lot of damage with his magic. I didn't want to die when he had like two or three hits remaining, so I just kind of went for it there. So I knew I'd be able to kill him. Ten mana, you wow. Is there anything else of interest? Don't think so. Uh, okay, cool. Um, I guess that is a pretty good place to leave it then. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, yeah, really, really, really enjoyed doing this and look forward to sticking up. Uh, part four. So yeah, have a good day.